dedicated to the grind and dedicated to you. That's why we do what we do. This is Power Ground Boxing, where we dedicated to the great sport of boxing. I need you to subscribe right now for another jab of boxing news from around the world commentary and entertainment with a focus of honoring those of the past and the present who have made a positive contribution to this wonderful sport that me and you call boxing. This is Quick Jab. And right now we're gonna be talking about Deontay Wilder. Oh man, a recent report from TMZ has revealed that the former WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Deontay Wilder was arrested in Los Angeles. Yeah, you heard that. Now he was bit, he got pulled over during a quote unquote routine traffic stop. Now, according to law enforcement sources, LAPD officers claim that Deontay Wilder's windows were illegally tinted and that his license plate was obstructed. Wink, wink. Now, during the stop, police say that he smelled a strong odor of burnt marijuana coming from his car and they proceeded to search his vehicle. Now, TMZ, they also talked about the officers uh, found a nine millimeter handgun and marijuana in Wilder's car and then that led to his arrest and of course charges of possessing a concealed weapon and you know drug charges etc now despite these con i'm gonna say crazy circumstances surrounding his um, arrest wilder is reportedly he was reportedly um cooperating with the officers and you know it was like a really friendly encounter now wilder is six foot seven you know what i'm saying like so i'm glad it was friendly you feel me and he got fist of dynamite but he was released on bond um a little bit after his um arrest um now what i love about deontay wilder is that he has this great phenomenal record he got 43 wins two losses and one draw now out of these 43 wins he has 42 knockouts you got what i'm saying man that's crazy now he's been out of the ring since october of 2022 where he destroyed his former sparring partner, Robert Hellanius, in just one round. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, he's been the subject of a lot of speculation uh, regarding future fights because there are so many people buzzing in the, I'm going to say the YouTube streets about him facing two-time world champion Anthony Joshua. Now, I heard they're gonna fight in the Middle East at the end of 2023. Now, that would be something that I really wanna see. Do you understand what I'm saying? And I'm hearing that's gonna be like the WBC final eliminator. You know what I'm saying? But then I also heard there's gonna be like a another eliminator with Andy Ruiz. So who knows what really is going on? But despite these legal issues that Deontay Wilder is um, facing right now, He's still heavily and highly regarded as a great phenomenal fighter with a super missile launcher and a great track record within the sport of boxing and people around the boxing world will undoubtedly watch whatever Deontay Wilder chooses to do. You understand what I'm saying? Now, what's crazy about TMZ is that they only report anything negative. And if you know people like I know people, they only look at you and care about you when you do something that other people will deem as negative. Now, Deontay Wilder has been a great ambassador and a positive ambassador for the sport. He's went all over the world, talked to so many different people from different economic brackets, different groups of individuals, people who are like, people who are not like. He always, he stands on his truth. You got what I'm saying? Like he has done a whole lot. He gives back to the community. He does a lot of positive things, but you never hear that, right? But now TMZ, oh, he gets arrested for a gun charge and a drug charge, uh, you know, at a routine wink, wink traffic stop. 
then guess what it's all over the news it's global news it's global history you got what i'm saying it's just it's really ridiculous you know and it just shows you the divide amongst certain groups of people it's a divide amongst people who care about people who do positive things and people who don't care about people who do positive things at all because he gets all this press when he does something negative but tmz ain't reporting when he's doing something good at an influential platform like that guess what you could talk about him doing good things too you understand what i'm saying but that's just how i feel about tmz i, I don't even think they even like sports they just like drama you got what i'm saying and california with these gun laws they are completely out of their mind and why would not why would deontay wilder not have a gun on him why wouldn't he people be trying to kill you know how you know the um death rate in california do you know that look it up and you will be alarmed at the death rate and how many people get robbed in california it's just really really ridiculous and then these police officers i've been stopped at a routine traffic stop a police officer was driving beside me and this liar this despicable scum of a police officer said that i looked like i was nervous now mind you i didn't even see the police officer but the police officer said that i looked over at him he told before he called he pulled me over said he stopped me and then when he had, he called with backup he said that i looked over at him and i looked at him and i looked like i was nervous now mind you i didn't look at this guy at all i didn't even know i was near police now they were trying to search my vehicle and all of that now at that time i did not know my rights so since i knew i didn't have nothing on me i was like yeah you can search my car but no 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 i should have told him no you don't have the authorization to search my vehicle but i did not know the law at that point in time i just thought like yo if i ain't doing nothing wrong he's saying that he thought i had some um some drugs on me then you know what i'm saying like okay cool nah that's the wrong thing so you got to know your rights don't just let these people do unauthorized search and seizures of your stuff so never give police authorization to search your vehicle you understand what i'm saying never because this guy was a liar and he's a piece of trash and it's a lot of piece of trash law enforcement that's just like him now of course there are a lot of good law enforcement as well in this world that i keep hearing about however i have not had the pleasure of meeting a good law enforcement official everyone that i have met has been despicable scum liars so now when i look at police that's what i see i see liars i see people who will hurt you and then justify why they hurt you and then be like oh well you know you should just do what i tell you no i have to know my rights and then i have to do what i am what i have a right to do within whatever land that i'm in you got what i'm saying it's not a discapo but anyway you know what i'm saying i ain't gonna get on that but i'm just i'm just like you know police they just they lie us they'll say you did stuff that you didn't do i am witness i am proof of that they these people are liars now like i said i'm certain that there are some good ones out there but i only have met bad ones you understand what i'm saying but look what do you think about deontay wilder this is power ground boxing courtesy <laughs> power ground sports let us know your thoughts in the comment section below hey punch the subscribe button hit the like button hit the notification bell and stay up to date with all the videos you know why because we on the grind baby peace